Welcome to Cooking with Science. Once again, we're delving into the mysterious world of cooking using the wonderful world of science. All right, so let me pose a hypothetical question for you that definitely didn't happen to me. Maybe. So say you're working in the lab and suddenly you realize, hmm, I'm hungry, but all you have is some raw eggs. So you have three options. One, you can go hungry. Two, you can eat the eggs raw. Or three, you can use the powers of science to cook the egg for you so you don't, I don't know, whatever happens to you when you eat a raw egg. Turn into rocky or something. I don't know. Anyways, what do you use? Well, we have covered quite a few exothermic reactions on this channel, where the byproduct of mixing two different substances together creates heat. We're going to look for chemicals that are easy to get and create a lot of heat. And a lot of heat that will be transferred to some water so we can cook our eggs. All right. Oh, and by the way, don't actually try this at home. This is purely for demonstration purposes. So I take no responsibility for your stupidity. Hooray! Anyways, what are we going to use? We're going to use calcium oxide. Now, this technology is not new. In fact, armed forces around the world have been using calcium oxide to heat up their meals ready to eat. The MREs. Because you can just have a bag and it's full of food that needs to be cooked and then you just pour in a little bit of water and voila, it creates enough heat to cook the food. So, I've got some little packets of calcium oxide here. We're going to put them in the pot and we're going to see how hot it gets and whether it's hot enough to cook this egg. So I have my water, I have my packets, and I'm going to be switching the camera around a little bit so that we can get some excellent view. Don't forget safety. I'm going to put on my safety glasses. One thing you should consider calcium oxide is uh, very irritating. Don't get it on your skin, don't get it on your eyes, and don't breathe it in, which is why I have it in these sealed packages, so I don't have to worry about that. And now calcium oxide is going to turn into calcium hydroxide when you mix it with water. And it's that reaction that causes the hugely exothermic reaction and will create the heat needed to cook our eggs. So I'm just going to put an egg in there, the package in there. Uh, there we are. Maybe let's try two eggs. And I might add another package in, depending how hot it gets. Pull out our now this is going to create a lot of steam once the reaction starts taking place. I'm going to put my thermometer in so we can see how hot the water is getting. There, the reaction is starting. That's a lot of heat right there. Woo wee! It's at 30 degrees already. I'm going to try and capture some of the heat in there. Now to cook an egg safely, we do need to get to approximately 70 degrees Celsius and maintain that temperature for a little bit. We'll see if we can get up that hot. Oh, we're already at 60 degrees. We just hit 71 degrees. This is actually going to work. We're going to be able to eat our eggs, except for don't eat these eggs because I wouldn't trust it. You need a special container to actually use calcium oxide to safely eat, and those are available for like emergency ration packages. If you haven't guessed, I don't know a thing about cooking, so I don't even know how long I need to cook an egg for in order for it to be actually hard boiled. I know the safe temperature is about that 73 degrees Celsius, maybe? So we're just going to leave it in there a little bit so that we can make sure that it is actually at a safe temperature to om -nom -nom. A few minutes later. I'm going to say they're done because it's been about like 10 minutes at 70 degrees Celsius. So let's, whoops, let's see how they look. Okay, so we have an egg. Let's find out. Yeah. Oh, that does not look very cooked to me. No, that is barely cooked at all. It's a little bit cooked, but ew, that didn't work. <laughs> Sunny side up hard boiled egg. I'm not a chef, and you can probably tell that I probably never will be, because I just failed at cooking an egg. 
But that's okay. This has been Cooking with Science with Jonathan Allers. This is Destructive Creativity. We do science experiments every single Wednesday morning, so make sure you consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It really helps us out as a channel. See you next time. Bye!